All right, cash economies like Nigeria have been upended by COVID-19. Banks are closed, cash handling has become a potential health risk, and bank transfers are of limited use when 60% of adults remain unbanked. Stepping in to fill this void is digital payment company Paga. It's a mobile phone platform through which people can send and receive money, which means they can work, shop and move money even during the pandemic. It has 15 million users and processes 3.5 million transactions a month. Joining us now is Tayo Oviosu. He is the CEO of Paga. Tayo, great to have you on the show. Just explain in your words how Paga works, because I know you have what I believe yeah. around 25,000 agency businesses that facilitate these transactions all over the country. In your own words. Julia, thank you very much for having me on here. Uh, it's a real great pleasure. So Paga is a mobile payment service, um, and what we are doing is solving two problems fundamentally. One is the use of cash. Um, and as you mentioned, in Nigeria, countries like Nigeria, use of cash is very significant. Um, and then the second is access to finance. And the way we do it is by combining a physical network of mom and pop shops, pharmacies, grocery stores, and neighborhood communities all over the country to uh, offer services to the mass market as well as um, providing a digital service on any mobile phone, including the most basic mobile phone um, on all mobile networks. So if you have a, any type of phone, you could just dial star 242 hash and you could access the Paga menu and you can do your transactions regardless of what mobile network you're on. Uh, or you could go into the app store if you have a smartphone and download the Paga app uh, if you're, you're one of those who are, you know, one of the 40% of Nigerians who are banked, you can link your bank accounts um, and use Paga. So you can use Paga with, you know, multiple bank accounts or your bank cards. Or if you're like the mass market and most people who are not banked, you can go to a Paga agent and fund your wallet and then perform your transactions that way. Um, or just use the agent directly and the agent will perform the transactions for you. So Julia, if you were in Ikorudu in Nigeria and you wanted to send money to your, you know, to your cousin in uh, Abuja, you could just go to a Paga agent and say, here's cash, help me fund my transaction. So essentially, uh, help me process my transaction. So essentially what Paga has done is really take informal economies that are very cash driven right. um, and started on the path of digitizing them. I've got so many questions from that. Break it down for me very quickly. Sure. What proportion yeah. is people going into one of these mom and pop yeah. stores, as you said, and doing these transfers versus right. downloading the app versus perhaps just sending yeah. money via a mobile phone? Can you give us a sense of how this breaks down and yeah. perhaps how it's evolved over the last few weeks? Yeah, so actually till, till late last year, the bulk of our transactions was really people going into those physical locations. Right. Um, and with 25,000, agents in a country where there are not really that many ATMs, it was providing a real service to the banked and the unbanked um, and continues to. And and we're now seeing a trend towards digital and then we've also been pushing pushing and driving towards. Um, and, and and actually what's going on now with, with COVID-19 is, is, is helping to accelerate that. Um, we've seen in, the, in this quarter, uh, it's not yet over, but in Q2, we've seen almost 330% quarter over quarter growth in new signups for the Paga wallet. Um, and this is people using star 242, right? So these are mostly people with basic mobile phones um, registering for the account. And we've seen an uptick in the transactions that we're, we're getting from people using Paga on their own as they look for options, um, as they're not able to, during the lockdown, we're not able to go out and perform their transactions. Yeah, I mean, lockdown has, has had that effect. So this is a vital resource for people that simply can't get out there. Talk to me about commissions. How much does it sure. cost to do this? Because it also yeah. matters for things like remittances too, remittances too and sure. you can talk about that. Yeah, if you go to a Paga agent um, and you want to send money to someone, the typical amount that people send on average is about 14,000 Naira. It would cost you about 100 Naira, which is just shy of 50 US cents. Uh, actually a bit a bit lower than that now with, with all what's going on with the currency. Um, but if you were to do that on your own um, from Paga, you can send money to anyone using their mobile phone or their email for free. 
Um, and if you were to send that same amount to a bank account, you would do it for 50 Naira. Um, so at least half the cost if you did it by yourself. And, and so, but really what we're driving here is for people to, you know, to use the service for free. Um, and so everyone who has an account, very similar to PayPal or Venmo, uh, sending money to somebody else within the system is free. So I was just doing some math there. I believe you've got 15 million sure. users, population of around 200 million in the country. So it's around seven and a half percent. How quickly do you think this can grow? What kind of market share can you get here? Yeah, no, I think we've laid the, the, the strong foundation uh, needed to, to, to really win this market. Um, and, and I think there's an opportunity to, in the next five years, have somewhere in the you know, 40 to 50 million users on our platform, right? Um, and, and we're talking about the adult population here, right? So really our goal is we want to make life possible for people, and that's the ethos of what we do. Because we don't, we don't think it's about the payment itself, it's about what you're trying to actually accomplish whether that is to get your daughter to go to school, right? Or whether that is to buy, you know, a birthday present for your wife, right? Uh, whatever it is you're trying to accomplish, payments is just one element of it, and we want to simplify that for you. Yeah, it's vital for small businesses as well when we're talking about that proportion of people that are simply unbanked if Correct. you want to um, foster growth in your business. Speaking of growth in your business, you have mm. and have expansion plans in Ethiopia. Mexico was also an option. What has COVID-19 meant right. for, for those plans too and for your business itself? You know, the, you know, our board and investors and our team are really much, I've looked at this and said, look, this is the, the opportunity for us because we do see the trends of the world is going to go more to digital, right? Um, you know, the use of cash is, is very is, is dangerous uh, for many reasons, but now there are health reasons as well. Um, so we're very excited about Mexico. And uh, really what we're doing is we're looking at large countries where they're very informal. Right, Mexico is the 15th largest economy in the world and the second largest in Latin America, but yet 65% of Mexicans are unbanked, um, and 90% of Mexicans don't even save in a formal financial institution. Right, so our platform and what we have done in Nigeria um, has learnings that we think we can take to such markets, right, where we can digitize informal markets um, and also work with provide a service that provides significant convenience to those who are even banked as well as well as the mom and pop shops, right? And I think this is what really led to the recent partnership we did with Visa. Um, and we're very excited about that collaboration because it's a global collaboration where every Paga user is going to soon have a Visa credential. Um, and and that means that they can they have greater access wherever they go, uh, wherever Visa is accepted, as well as Visa, Visa customers have access wherever Paga is accepted, both in, in, in Nigeria, Mexico, and Ethiopia, and other markets as we build out. You know, it's, a, it's not often that I begin a conversation and I end it with more questions, actually, than I've answered. So we are gonna, we're going to have to continue this We'd conversation. We'd love to continue it. Fantastic. We'd love to continue it sometime. And thank you so much for having me. And I, I actually just noticed that you, uh, you debuted your show on my birthday. So it's good, oh, wow. good, good signs. It is yeah. a good sign. September for both 10th. of us, clearly. Yes. <laughs> Great to have you on. Stay in touch, please. Please stay safe. And stay safe. Thank you. Yeah, you too.